Hey, I have a homeschool haul for you today, including something really big that I am really excited about. And let's just say it was way overdue that we invested in this for our homeschool. I'm Rachel from 7 and All. I am a second generation homeschooler and here on the 7 and All channel, we like to talk about a lot of homeschool stuff. Uh, it can actually get kind of nerdy, so if you like homeschool, if you like books, if you like the homeschool lifestyle, definitely go down and click the subscribe button and I'm going to jump right into this haul right away and I'm just going to show you the big biggest news first because I'm not really the suspense type of person. You can't leave me waiting in suspense. I'm going to show you right now. Now this is going to probably need some kind of really special sound effect. Maybe like a whole chorus of homeschool moms singing the hallelujah song. But this is what I am so excited about. It is a printer and it is a beast of a printer. It's the Canon MB5470. And I went, we have, we bought a printer uh, like six years ago when we first moved here and it hadn't worked for printing in over a year. It worked for scanning and we kept <laughs> keeping it around for scanning purposes, but it wasn't actually copying or printing and it was way past due to get our own printer. And I just decided to go big this time. I didn't want the hassle of constant paper jams and only being able to print one page at a time and not having double-sided printing. So. We got something serious and this is gonna go well with um, some of what I've got coming up with, with developing homeschool curriculum myself. But for right now, I have a printer and I can print off homeschool materials and I am so excited. It does double-sided printing. You can put a ton of paper in here. So this morning I printed a 358 page document and all I did was push print and then it did the whole thing by itself. It is amazing and I'm in love and I'm so happy. I will put the links for all the stuff I have in this video down in the description below so you can check it out if you want. But this is my this is my new toy and it's thrilling. Also we had to get a stand to put the printer on so we uh, went to Ikea and picked up this little thing right here and I'm using it as storage so some supplies that otherwise were on, on my table and desk right here and then different learning games um, for my boy in those baskets so I think that will also be nice to have both a stand and a little more storage in this room all right now on to the books so if you are here for the books and not for the printer you don't have to wait any longer um, so my youngest sister is gonna be starting grade 5 we school year round so we basically we start the next level when she's done with her current books and she's wrapping up all of her um, current grade four kind of independent work. So my mom tasked me with finding some independent workbooks that we could get for her here. Cause we're not able to really order anything straight from the US right now. We can only get printable things or things that can easily be shipped to where we live. And I asked my some of my YouTube mama friends about some ideas, what they had. And Wendy at Plan Prep Pray recommended complete curriculum. I looked it up and it just so happened that our local discount book retailer had this gigantic book available for about the equivalent of six US dollars. And we we're like, okay, yes, we're gonna do that. So, um, because my mom just wanted some independent work that my youngest sister can do by herself. So this has several different um, categories Within the book, we've got reading skills, spelling skills, math skills, language arts, writing skills, and test prep. So she's not necessarily going to do like start from the beginning and work her way through. We'll have her working through a couple categories each day just to have some independent worksheets. That's what my mom was looking for for her. Then, um, at the same order that we got this, they needed a, to spend a couple more dollars to get free shipping. And so I got one of these. I have a whole video with a Montessori Method workbook haul. So you know that I really like these for preschool. I think they're very well designed, thoughtfully designed and well done. And they include stickers, which if you have a preschooler, stickers make everything better. But I hadn't gotten the seasons one the first time around that I made a big order. I'm almost, almost completely through 
um, the books that I had ordered from them before and we hadn't done this one. So we um, went ahead and added this to the order because it was like two dollars. So that was a really good way to fill it in. I hadn't gotten the seasons one the first time because we don't have seasons and so it didn't seem like as important of a topic to cover um, with my toddler preschooler. But of course it's fun to learn about seasons and I knew that I liked um, the style of these books and the way that the activities are, the vocabulary that we can go over as we practice each page, talk through each page. So he really enjoys these. We will have a lot of fun. Oh, we have stick the leaves on the tree. I'm making a little fox, colors of fall. So he will get to learn about seasons even though he has never seen seasons in real life. It's still good to learn about them. Ooh, how a melon grows. Get a cantaloupe, ooh, watermelon, seeds on the watermelon. Get to draw the seeds, that, that's a classic. And sea animals. Now we do have summer all year long, so the summer activities will be very relatable. So, I'm excited to get that. I think this was the last book in this series that I hadn't gotten. So that was from that order. And then, this was what I tested out my new printer on was printing language arts and literature level four from the good and the beautiful for my youngest sister and this was again with the idea that um, my mom had she's running out of all of her independent work completing all of those books and she wanted her to have some more things that she could do by herself um, so by the level four of the good and the beautiful language arts it is supposed to be a student-led student-directed lessons so we um, went ahead and downloaded this for her and this is not something you have to buy if you're getting the PDF version. Uh, the Good and the Beautiful offers this for free. Which is definitely one of the reasons that makes it very appealing to uh, many, many families. One of the things that it appeals to me about is the fact that it includes quite a bit of geography and art in the lessons and those are actually areas where we don't necessarily have the best resources in our homeschool library at the moment. So maybe since geography and art is a weaker area, I do like that this language arts curriculum can bring it in. And I really look forward to talking with my little sister about some of the topics that she will go over. There are um, the whole year is separated into units, so each unit begins with a unit overview page. And actually, my plan is to break this out and staple it in the different units. To go ahead and so not be stapling one giant book together, um, but be stapling it just into individual units. And this is because my so that would be that would be the first one there. This is because my sister is not the most careful. You know, some kids are very naturally, like they take super good care of their stuff. Some kids are not, many, many kids are not. And she is one of the not side. So I didn't necessarily want to staple one huge book together, give it to her, and then it'll be in really um, shabby condition by the time we get to the end of the year. Uh, so we're gonna break it out into one unit sections and staple it and then when she finishes one unit then she gets the next section and look at these colors like I printed these on my own printer and this is maybe not as thick of paper as I should have used it was the paper I had which was 80 GSM I'm not sure what that is in the pounds measurement and this was also on the save ink um, color setting which you know I can't help myself I am a thrifty person at heart so even though I wanted to do color I did want to do the save ink setting and I think it looks fantastic so you can you can kind of see in here it's not just um, language activities they also bring in art and some hands-on stuff so that will be fun because that's probably that is one of the weaker sides for ours and it looks like they're focusing on pastels um, for a while into the units, then we're up to unit four. I like that we have all the geography in there. But then to go with this, what, what is part of this program is the spelling and writing workshops. And these are just one, like two sides of a page for each lesson, writing workshop, spelling workshop. Writing workshop, spelling workshop. And it's two sides of a page for each lesson 
which makes it really easy. What I am actually planning to do, and you can tell me if you think this is a bad idea, but what I'm planning to do is that when I staple together the Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3 booklets, I'm just going to slide in these Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3, whatever, um, spelling workshops and writing workshops in between each lesson so that they're all aligned where they should go in the whole um, book. And I'll have to look and see some might have some little extras or things different. Um, but I think that will make it just a little bit easier for her to keep track of what she's supposed to do each day. This looks like a lot of fun. I love anything with, that has to do with writing, language arts, these kind of things. So I, I think we will have a lot of fun with this. I'll definitely be asking her to report on her experience. So that is the spelling and writing workshops. And then it comes with two readers. This is the level four world biographies reader, which contains, and for this one, I did two pages to a page printing um, because it was designed for a smaller page. So since I just wanted to print it on eight and a half by 11, I set it to print like this and then still double-sided. So that used a lot less paper than if it was using um, one page. You can see Eric Little, Jesse Owens. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six books in this one. This is the World Biographies Reader. And this is the, what's it called, Personal Reader, I believe. I didn't print the cover because I wanted to print that on cardstock. And this, let me see the table of contents. This one has four. Carlotta, Pedro's Choice, The Belgian Twins, and Jackie, A Story of Prince Edward Island. Ah. And then this one has four. And these books are integrated and assigned into the Language Arts and Literature Level 4 course book. So it will tell you when you need to read um, chapters or books and have assignments related to that as well. So that will be exciting. This is new to us. We have never tried this. I know that this um, Level 4 is actually the new version of Level 4. And I have a little bit of work ahead of me with stapling it and putting it together. But I'm so excited. My printer printed all this since I got it. So unless, like, and I just had to push the button and just let it print. It was amazing. Now here, now these are actually not 100% new. I talked about these before, but I had had some requests to show what I got. So I just decided to include them in this haul. This was the, what I invested in some Spanish books for Christmas. But they came very late because it took... Um, more than two months. I think it was more than even nine weeks to get here from when I ordered them. So that was my experience with trying to order at least some Spanish, new Spanish picture books and get them all the way here. This one's for the baby. Ve, perro, ve. So just a, one little board book, but mostly what we were focusing on were a little bit more advanced Spanish books because most of the Spanish books we have are baby books, board books, and so on. This one's a very funny one. Como comen los dinosaurios. Of course, um, this was, I think, originally in English, but it's about, like, sh are, do dinosaurs eat rudely at the dinner table or do they eat politely? And my little guy loves these. We have recently been learning in our gentle and classical preschool about dinosaurs being extinct, so this was a great tie-in to that lesson. This is the chick that wouldn't hatch, or we read it in Spanish, el pollito que no quería salir del huevo. So this is also super funny and he loves it and we'll read it multiple times. Great little book. This is designed that it could be a reader, but I just read it to him. And then we got Ferdinando, El Cuento de Ferdinando, which is of course the story of Ferdinand the Bull, which I had never read before. I, I of course, you know, it's a very famous old book. I had never read it before and I was very um, intrigued and surprised by the actual book. Very interesting uh, little story of Ferdinand. Uh, 50 grados bajo cero. Very funny little story about a boy and his sleepwalking dad who sleepwalks out into the snow and this uh, hero boy brings him back home when he's basically frozen like a popsicle and gets him all warmed up and ties him to <laughs> with a rope so that he can't um, sleepwalk away again. Uh, silly, you know, you know. Uh, unrealistic tale, but pretty funny pictures. I'll show you inside. So it's a pretty rough night for this little boy. 
but he's doing a good job making sure his papa's safe. And this one is probably my favorite of what we got. Que cosas dice mi abuela? Dichos y refranes sobre buenos madales. It's all about this grandma and her grandkids and grandma has something to say about every kind of situation in life and they're all pieces of wisdom. Agua corriente sana la gente. When he's asking for a um, soft drink, she gives him water and she tells him why. Um, when they're all talking at the same time, she gives him advice about um, speech and el que no oye consejo no llega viejo. So listening, listen, if you don't listen to advice, you won't grow up to be old. And all sorts of different little advice throughout the day. It is very sweet. I really enjoyed this quite a bit and the little sayings. Um, Spanish sayings, proverbs. So that was a really, really good little addition. And that's what I have for you today. If you are interested in seeing the complete look at what we'll be using for fifth grade for this upcoming school year and for 10th grade for this upcoming school year, make sure you subscribe so that you can see those because I've got those videos coming out soon. All right, bye.